Okay, please comment under what scenario abortions might be considered to be immoral. Well, this is relatively uh, simple. Look, for objectivism, immorality is irrationality. The irrational is the immoral. So making a decision based on emotions is immoral. Making decisions without taking all the facts, without thinking it through, without using your reason, your mind, your being rational, is immoral. In, in that sense, much of what people do on a day-to-day -day basis is immoral because it is anti their own life. Because when you place your feelings above your reason, you're acting against your life. And that is what immorality means. So uh, many people, act all the time. Most people act a lot of the time in immoral ways, in a sense that, that they are evading. They're purposefully evading facts about the world. Now, that could apply to anything, including abortion. So if one day you feel like having a baby, and one, the next day you feel like, oh, I don't really feel like having a baby, and then you get depressed, and you, you say, oh, having a baby is really hard, and, and you don't sit down and actually think about it. Think about this, one of the most important decisions you're going to make in your life. And you evaluate it based on the, on the context of your hierarchy of values. And this is true of having a baby as well as not having one. This would be true of, 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 the, of, the, um, of the choice to have a baby as well as the choice to abortion. I think a lot of people have babies for, for irrational reasons and, and, and therefore fundamentally immoral reasons. And I think... A lot of people have abortions without having thought it through. Now, one example of this could be not wanting to think about it for months and months and months and evading it. And I don't really want to have this baby, but I don't, you know, I don't know what to do about it. And, and then getting to, I don't know, the sixth, seventh, eighth month and suddenly realize, I don't want the baby. I don't, I don't want to give birth. I don't, want to, I don't want this. And then rushing to have an abortion. Now, it's not the time it's not that the fact that it's a, an abortion in the seven months that makes it immoral. It's the fact that you've had seven months to think about it. If you, if you don't want the child, if you don't want to have a child, then you should have aborted much earlier. I mean, one very good reason why it's immoral is because you're now putting your own health at risk. An abortion in the seven months is not easy for anybody. And a few doctors will do it. So... Why didn't you think about it? So when you discover you're pregnant, the first thing to do, I mean, after the excitement and the thrill and everything like that, is to, do I want to have a child? What are the consequences? And therefore, it makes sense that if you don't want it, to have the abortion as quickly as possible. Now, it could be that circumstances change. And those circumstances change, you know, you lose your job, your husband, you know, your husband leaves you, lots of things could change that would cause you to say, I want it, now I don't want it rationally. And then the abortion would be completely mal. But, but that, none of that, by the way, has anything to do with the legality of emotion, which is a completely separate issue. Government does not dictate morality. Government is there to protect individual rights. And a fetus has no rights, and therefore the government has no business in the business of abortion. But morality does, and I think doctors do. And I think doctors in a free market, in a rational world, would be extremely reluctant to do an abortion in, in a third trimester. And you would have to give them really good reasons. And I think the only legitimate reasons that late would be either a dramatic change in circumstances of your life or, you know, health risks either to you or to the fetus.